In this video, we will learn how to use do loop in uh, in SAS. We can use do loop for uh, different type of activities. Uh, the first thing that we learn is how to create a, a continuous set of values using do loop. I want a data set wherein I just want to have values from 1 to 10. How do I write it? Data, I name it ABC. Do I equal to 1 to 10. And then I am putting, uh, I am writing output. That means the I values will be saved in the output data. My output data is ABC. And then we always uh, write end at the end of the uh, do loop. That means once the iteration completes, when I write do, uh, do i equal to 1 to 10, it iterates for 10 times. When the iterations are complete, it ends the loop. Okay, so make sure you always put end uh, at the very end and then uh, run statement. Let us run this. Go to explorer and see what is there in data ABC. As you can see, uh, there is one column I and there are values ranging from 1 to 10. Okay, so what if we would have wanted uh, incremented by 2, like starting from 1, then 3, then 5, 7, and then 9? You, you just add this by statement by 2 do i equal to 1 to 10 by 2 the remaining syntax is, is the same okay you cannot open the sas dataset and run the code so you have to close it otherwise it will give us error okay let's go to abc and see You can see we have values incremented by 2, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So uh, we can increment uh, this series by any value. So that's where we use the do loop. We also use do loop for writing uh, multiple statements. I'm using a parent data students here. Let me show you how students uh, look like. It has 30, 29 values, 4 variables are there, admit, GRE, GPA and brand. This data is on you know, student admission data. So uh, what I want is that based on certain condition, I want to write a number of statements, number of uh, SAS statements okay so what is the condition if GPA is greater than 3.5 and GRE score is greater than 500 then do if this condition is satisfied for a you know for a particular row every row is for a particular student right in our data set so if GPA is greater than 3.5 and GRE is greater than 500 then do so within do we have a bunch of statements admit we have already we already have a column named as admit equal to 1 okay and then fee we are creating a new variable fee 500 dollars we are creating another variable named as status admitted let us run this Let's go to the student one data set. Right. You can see places where GRE score is greater than 500 and GPA is greater than 3.5. It must be one everywhere. 
we have created uh, two more variables fee and status so wherever the condition is satisfied you can see uh, there is a value uh, in the fee and status column and wherever it's not satisfied you can see the blank places right so uh, basically when we need to create a lot of uh, new variables and you know we want multiple statements to be uh, executed based on a condition we use the uh, do statement the third use of do is along with the while condition here i want to uh, i want to put the values of n uh, the value of n is 0 initially and till it reaches uh, up to 5 i want to uh, write it to the log okay so that is my intention here syntax is do while within bracket n is less than 5 put n equal to so what is put statement uh, does it, it it writes the values of n to the log window and then i am incrementing n by 1 okay so it starts with 0 incremented uh, by 1 become uh, 1 then become 2 then become 3 4 and it will terminate there because the condition i have given is n should be less than 5 make sure you write end at the end of the uh, do loop let me run this i need to go to the log because i am writing it to the log um, you can you can see i have n starting from 0 to 4 written in my log The last use of do statement is along with the leave statement. Okay. Sometimes what we want is we want to leave the loop when we reach a, a particular condition. Now I am using multiple loops here. There are two do loops here. Outer do loop and then inner do loop. The condition in which the uh, uh, you know, I, I, I am restricting or I am, I am asking it to leave the internal, uh, you know, the, uh, the inner loop is when j equal to 7. Then it will leave the loop. Okay. And then I am writing i and j to my log. Similar to what I had done in the last case. There are two do loops. So you can write two do loops as well. So how does it uh, run? It start with i equal to 1 and then goes inside and starts from j equal to 1 and then uh, performs the next steps become j is equal to 2 perform the next step j is equal to 3 and so on till the terminate condition then it returns to the outer loop it becomes i equal to 2 then again from 1 to the terminating condition it will uh, terminate at 7 it, it iterates again it becomes to i equal to 3 therefore all j's it will again uh, you know repeat it okay so it's like a cross product cross product of the outer loop and the inner loop so that many observation will be written in the uh, log of course, you can do any kind of operation. I am writing the uh, values of i's and j uh, in the log. So you, you might be wondering when do we need it because we might as well, uh, you know, put it as seven, right? Why just leave the loop at j equal to seven? We might as well instead of this ten, we can put it as seven, right? Well, for the illustration purpose, I have given here you know sometimes what happens is that you might be uh, having there, there is a chances there are chances that uh, you might uh, encounter some mathematical uh, problems like uh, divided by zero case so it's always good to because it will go into an infinite loop if you don't put uh, a terminating condition so 
when if you ask the uh, uh, loop to stop when whenever you reach uh, the denominator equal to zero, that will automatically leave the loop and terminate the uh, you know terminate the loop. Else it will go on uh, go on 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 and uh, it will hang. The system will hang eventually. So these are the situation where the leave statements uh, you know it's very useful. So I, we will see in few places where we can use do loop for uh, doing uh, you know for for working with the data. Of course, we can explore there are a lot many things related to do loop, and uh, we can always explore more and more.